Okay, so um, let's divide hemostasis. And we divide it into primary and secondary. And what does it mean? Well, under primary, you should imagine if there's something with thrombocytes or vessel wall. And under secondary, if there's something with coagulation cascade. And this division is very artificial, but it's very useful in, in clinical practice because the the clinical appearances are different. And and this doesn't like works ultimately, but in in majority of of, of cases you can pretty much rely on that. And the rule is very simple with the clinical appearances. And we're gonna go, uh, again, I'm gonna mention more clinical stuff later, but from now on, I just would like you to look at primary hemostasis disorders as disorders of thrombocytes or vessel wall. And the typical sign that you will see is a superficial bleeding. And superficial bleeding means you're gonna see petechias either on skin or on mucous membranes. In contrast to this, if we're gonna talk about uh, secondary uh, hemostasis uh, problems, disorders, which is that there's something with the coagulation factors, then you will rather look for deep bleedings, deep muscle bleedings, or especially bleedings into the joints. So before we get to pathophysiology, I will still remind you some bits and pieces out of physiology because this is going to be very, very useful to, to, to explain you the, the causes of the diseases. And um, so let's delete this. And next thing we're going to go through is von Willebrand's factor. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. And as always, check the description below for supplementary questions and other materials.